Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Ender's Game, directed by Gavin Hood. Yes, the guy who directed X-Men Origins, Wolverine, the film that basically everyone hates. But personally, I'm actually one of those people that really enjoyed that film. It stars Harrison Ford, Asa Butterfield, Haley Steinfeld, Viola Davis, Ben Kingsley, Abigail Breslin, and Moises Arias. Ender's Game is about this military that's trying to search for a leader who can save the human race from this alien war that happened many years ago. Asa Butterfield plays Ender Wigan. He's a kid with a brilliant mind. So going into Ender's Game, I was very excited for this film. It looked really interesting. I love the trailers. I love the visual effects in the trailers. The cast looks so phenomenal. It just looked like a really great idea. I'm a words based on the book. I've never read the book. I really enjoyed this film. I think the storyline to this film is very interesting. The visual effects look so breathtaking. They look just so plain phenomenal. Cinematography for this film looks really good. Some of the camera angles that were used in this film was just so awesome. I was really impressed with the techniques and Gavin Hood's directorial style for Ender's Game. It really impressed me. The acting was really good. For the most part, Asa Butterfield does a good job in his role. But I do feel like at times the kid could get a little too stiff or he overreacts a bit. That's one of my problems with the movie. The fact that not only does Asa Butterfield act stiff and overreact at times, but some of the other kid actors, it's they're not terrible or anything. They weren't like, oh my gosh, the actor is so awful. But it's just like they really weren't as good as the other actors like Harrison Ford or Abigail Breslin. Like some of the kid actors, they just couldn't reach that same amazing acting level as those other actors that are in this film. I also gotta say that some of the editing in Ender's Game does feel really choppy. It feels sloppy. And the beginning of Ender's Game was so rushed. Like they really rush the storyline and Ender literally gets up in the space after the first 10 to 15 minutes of the film. I just wish that they just slowed down because I like when a movie does build up, not rush right away. Like I know some people, they're going to feel like it slows down and some movies, they just want to get to the point not to bore the audience and I understand that. But I feel like a build up before Ender actually went up to the space could have happened at least after the first 25 minutes just for like build up to him going up in space instead of rushing it and then boom he goes up into space. I just thought that felt out of place and it was really distracting in my opinion. I think Haley Steinfeld, who is actually a pretty girl, she does a really good job acting in this film. She's not in here that much. But for the role she does have and like her relationship with Ender Wiggins, I think it's very enjoyable. I enjoyed their bonding and I really, really enjoyed the training sequences like when they were in the battle room and they were just floating around. I actually felt like I was there training with them, just floating around. It was very cool and those were some of the best moments in my opinion. Another flaw I do have with Ender's Game though is that it is lacking a lot of character development. I just think more character development could have been used for this film. As far as acting goes, as I said, Lisa Butterfield for the most part does do a good job here. But Harrison Ford, he is freaking awesome in this movie. He is just <clears throat> Viola Davis, although underused, I really think she does a very good job here. And ben Kingsley, who is also not in this film that much, does a really good job here. And Abigail Breslin... Also, a person who has a very small role. She does a very good job here. I love Abigail Breslin. She's honestly one of my fair young actresses. She's very beautiful, and I think she's very talented. Her role is Valentine. She does do a good job. She really did add a little to the movie. Moises Arias, who I was surprised was in this film. I did not expect Moises Arias to actually come in Ender's Game. He does overreact, and his acting was a little bit silly. But I do think he was pretty good here. Finale in Ender's Game, it is so cool. It was really enjoyable, very riveting. I did not expect the direction it was going. And then there was a certain something that happens at the end I did not see coming. It took me by surprise and 
I thought it really added a lot to the story. I really enjoyed Ender's Game. It is just a lot of fun. It really is a real treat for the sci-fi genre. I do hope a sequel for this film comes because I'm very interested in a sequel now after what I experienced from this film. I am going to give Ender's Game three out of four stars. A very fun sci-fi ride. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!